Hello and welcome to the Awesome 180 channel. I am Ashtin Doctor, your habit coach and today we are going to be proving that the most successful people in the world, the most amazing people in the world did not necessarily have the best habits or they had really weird habits. Maybe we should learn from them but it's no cookie cutter approach to having an awesome life. So let's first get start with a fantastic habit by Nelson Mandela. Now Nelson Mandela was a freedom fighter in South Africa. He fought apartheid and was jailed for 27 years for conspiring to overthrow the government. So Nelson Mandela was in prison in one small tiny little cell for 27 years. And he had this one fantastic habit. He used to wake up very early in the morning at 5ish and then he used to exercise for one hour every single day first thing in the cell. He would start off by doing some spot runs then he would do a hundred push-ups on his fingertips. A hundred push-ups on his fingertips. Followed by 200 crunches. And that way he would continue working on different kinds of calisthenic exercises in order to stay fit, in order to stay strong. And interestingly, when Mandela came out, he continued this exercise practice right through his presidency days because he was the first black president in South Africa. Later on, Nelson Mandela became a big fan of boxing and he used to use boxing as a way of, you know, letting out his aggression, letting out his anger and then becoming mentally strong. He associated his exercise routine not just with physical strength but with mental strength as well. Isn't that amazing? So Nelson Mandela and if you look at pictures of him now, you can't picture him as an old man doing those finger push-ups but well, that's what he used to do. Number two on the list is Warren Buffett. Now we all know Warren Buffett. He was the richest man in the world at one point of time till all the tech billionaires suddenly started taking over. Warren Buffett has a very interesting morning routine. He normally wakes up around 6.45ish, 7. And then he doesn't go and drink tea. He doesn't go and drink coffee. What does Warren Buffett go and do? He goes to the refrigerator pulls out a can of Coca-Cola and has Coca-Cola as his first drink of the day. Isn't that crazy? Now, as your habit coach, this is not something I'm recommending, okay? So Warren Buffett is not something I'm recommending. But I found it so interesting. Then, on his way to work, he will stop at a McDonald's and have a McDonald's breakfast. What I find really cute about this story is that he will look at the prices and say, ah, the market is down today. I'm not going to buy something expensive. I'll have the $2.15 McDonald's burger. And then if the market's up, it's party time. He'll be like, I'm going for the $3.45 burger. Can you imagine one of the richest men in the world looking at the prices on in McDonald's before ordering? So someone asked him, you know, Mr. Buffett, why is it that you are, you know, having McDonald's burgers and Coca-Cola? And he said, you know, I did a study and I found out that the lowest mortality rate is among six-year-olds. So I thought I'd eat like a six-year-old. Maybe that's the secret to their success. Hmm. Like I said, as your habit coach, I'm not recommending any of what Warren Buffett does. Now, number three on the list, we have Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey, of course, we know was or probably still is one of the richest women in the world. And um, she created this amazing empire of from her talk shows and the way that she connects with people at a really really deep level she's a fantastic woman overall you must read her books you must learn about her and the way that she works but today we're talking about her morning habit and how she wakes up in an interview that she did a while ago she said that i never wake up with an alarm clock because the very fact that the the alarm clock is called alarm means there's something alarming about it and she says she never uses that instead she relies on her dogs to wake her up so she says that her dogs have been trained to come and jump on her bed at around 6 and 6.20 in the morning and that's her normal waking up. She says even if she's traveling and the dogs aren't there, she always wakes up at around 6 and 6.20. She then goes and brushes her teeth to wake herself up completely, takes the dog out for a walk and that way gets the blood moving. We all have a gene within us called KDM5A and this is called the alarm clock gene. This gene's job is to keep our circadian rhythm in tune so that we wake up at the same time every day. In fact, there is a protein called period, PED, that 
wakes us up at a particular time because it slowly slowly starts decreasing and increasing depending on the time of day this keeps our body in check and our energy levels in check so we all technically already have an internal alarm clock the problem is that we always wake up at different times you know i went to sleep at 11 so i woke up at 8 i went to sleep at 9 so i woke up at 5 now that is not the way to work in fact as a fantastic habit for you to probably start from now onwards always wake up at the same time every day so if you have set an alarm for 6 o'clock set that alarm for 6 and after 2 weeks stop that alarm make sure it does not ring and you will notice that you actually wake up at 6 every day because what you've done is that you set your body to wake up at that one particular point in time there are many many benefits of waking up at that one same time of day because it sets your entire circadian rhythm or the rhythm of your body the internal clock the one that sets up all the hormones to you know secrete at a certain point of time you will feel that energy through the day instead of a highs and a low and a crash and feeling sleepy through it so waking up at a particular time very very critical it's a fantastic habit to follow in fact waking up and the first few things that you do in the morning are so important that i've done an entire masterclass course on the perfect morning in the links below you will find a link to the new awesome 180 application can you imagine guys we've done a new application where there are courses there are videos there are contents there are links to the podcast everything that you want to know about what we're doing here how to create habits it's almost like your own habit university go check it out download it check out the courses buy a few of them and start getting into the habit of creating your perfect morning routine Having said which, now we're going to go to another crazy, crazy morning routine, that of Winston Churchill. Now, Winston Churchill was the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, um, England at that point of time, during World War II. He was, you know, the powerhouse behind winning certain aspects of the war. He was terrible to India. That's a separate video and discussion altogether. But his morning routine is actually very, very interesting. It's mad. I don't suggest you follow it but it's important to understand this. So he would wake up at around 7, 7.30 and he would not get out of bed. He would sit in bed, his secretary would come up, she would take the morning dictation, whatever he had to send out, whatever letters he had to send out. Can you imagine all those letters that he sent to the various presidents and prime ministers and everything was actually dictated when he was sitting in his pyjamas? It's quite crazy to think about it, right? So he would sit in bed, he would have his breakfast in bed and you know it consisted of eggs and sausages and a little bit of orange juice some tea but then at nine o'clock he would get a glass of whiskey where the bottom where barely the bottom of the glass was covered in whiskey and he would use that and drink that and he would call it his mouthwash then at 11 o'clock he would pour himself his first proper whiskey drink of the day and then continue drinking through the day so we all know that you know, Winston Churchill used to drink like crazy and there are some hilarious videos online of people trying to imitate Winston Churchill's drinking day and they're all sozzled and passed out by the time it's four o'clock in the afternoon. So Winston Churchill used to have this kind of an, you know, very structured morning where he would do the same routine and it was something that worked for him because he found that the most productive time of his day from the time he woke up at 7.30 with all the dictation taking place, him sitting there thinking, reading the newspapers and finally getting out of bed at 11.30, 12, ready for lunch. The next completely crazy routine is that of Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg is a fantastic actor. You have to see some of his movies. I'm sure you will immediately recognize him. Mark Wahlberg wakes up every morning at 2.30. Yeah, 2.30. All right, that is when most of us are going to sleep. Mark Wahlberg wakes up at 2.30 every morning, spends 45 minutes praying. He then goes and has breakfast, which is steel cut oats, a little turkey sandwich, that kind of stuff. Then he goes and works out at 4.40. He finishes working out at about 5, 5.15. That's about an hour and a half of a workout right in the morning. He then goes and plays golf, comes back. Golf again, fantastic because now he's done his entire walk, all those 10,000 steps or more have taken place. He comes home in time for his family to have woken up and spends time with them. Then he does another workout in the evening. So 
clearly this is not something that you know we can do on an everyday basis it's an extreme form of a morning routine but it's still a morning routine and the whole point of this video is to understand that you can create your perfect morning routine too it doesn't have to be what ashden does it doesn't need to be what somebody else does don't try taking a cookie cutter approach and saying that you know i have read that you have to wake up at 5 am and then do this and this and this and this you have to figure out what works for you you have to figure out which aspects of your life enhance it which aspects of your life are going to help you grow and that is how you start thinking about your morning routine okay so i hope you've understood and had an entertaining time learning of these various kinds of crazy routines that these successful people have had choose your own routine and maybe some day i'll be making a video about you and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button it's a fantastic habit to also share these videos with your friends because you know we can grow our community that way share this video put it in all your groups help me out i'm ashton doctor your habit coach and remember awesome lives they start with awesome habits